In this video, we're looking at Ubuntu Touch 2004 on the Google Pixel 3a, and here are some of the features. I won't be covering other features that I've done in other videos, so please check out the links below and see what's new in this video. Now some of these features are not necessarily new to Ubuntu 2004, but I wanted to show where things are at currently. So the first thing to look at is a tap to wake or gestures. If you look in the settings, you will find a gesture icon. Tapping on the icon will reveal the tap to wake feature. So you just need to double tap on the screen to wake the device. This is one of the newer features of Ubuntu Touch. Also in the settings, there is this blurry effect. Now you can kind of see the background through the drawer. And it will change depending on the background image. This is on by default and it looks pretty cool, but there is the option to turn it off and on. So if you turn it off and you slide the app drawer out, it will be just this dark color. Now NFC is functional on the device technically, but there are no apps that I found that could test it. So I'm really not sure if it's working. Bluetooth is working quite well and I've been able to pair it with these Bluetooth earbuds. There seems to be no problem with the connectivity and the sound coming through the earbuds. So again, Wi-Fi is working, as are the major telephone features, and I won't be showing those in this video. One of the issues with the Google Pixel 3a in the past was the video recording and audio syncing issue. But now the camera works and video recording works as expected with the sound syncing at the right time. Another thing I noticed is this barcode scanner that is installed by default and this allows you to scan QR codes. This is very helpful when going to restaurants that have only QR menus and here we can see it demonstrated. Simply scan the image and press on the URL that pops up. So some of the apps might not yet be available at the time of this video, but developers are working hard to bring their apps up to speed with the 2004 system. But here we can see that WayDroid is now available, so the WayDroid helper app can be installed and it's as simple as clicking install. It also has this option to install Google Apps. Here I have WayDroid installed already and I'll show you that it's running. When you do tap on it, sometimes it looks like it crashes, but if you wait a few seconds, it will then pop up with the Android system. So this is Android 
running in a container. So here we can see we are indeed running 2004. Something I've noticed in the updater lately is this icon that allows you to delete or clear updates. Sometimes they fail to download or there's an issue and that's a nice thing to have. I'm not sure if that's totally new but just pointing out that it's there. Also, the fingerprint reader is still functional and you can use this to unlock the device instead of using a passcode. fingerprint reader is on the back of the Google Pixel 3a. Lastly, I want to look at terminal updates. So opening the terminal app, we can see that there is this nice aubergine theme and you can change that if you like and there are tabs that can be opened and this looks like a very functional terminal and it's really something that's unique to Ubuntu Touch. So those are some of the features that I noticed in 2004 and it's looking good. I'm looking forward to the final release. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe. Check out my other videos for other features, such as wireless display.